In this video, we take a look at how to create the trendy dripping effect in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So here are the resources that I'll be using in this video. I'll leave a link to download all of these ones in the description. If you want to follow this tutorial and send me your feedback on IG. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. So I'll be using Photoshop CS6. Now the first thing you need is your image. And I got two pictures over here. We're going to make use of all of them. So the first thing you do is you drag it inside of Photoshop like this. Now what you want to do is you want to get rid of the background. So I'm going to unlock the layer. Now if you have a picture that is as sharp as this one, you can of course use something like the quick selection tool over here to get rid of the background so very easily else you need to go with something like the polygonal lasso tool over here so let's go with a quick selection and let's make a selection over here like that you can hold shift and then be making the selections so that it will be quite faster for you so something like that over here and now when you get to a point like this where it goes inside you can hold alt which shows the minus and then you can bring it back like that so you can take time all right so from there i'll continue with my selection so i'll hold shift and then i'll continue making my selection like that until i'm done with all of the parts so i can zoom in here as well and then i can make the selection from this side now after you've done all of these selections all that you need to do is hit on delete and then it is going to delete this one for you you can go to refine edge here adjust the smoothness and then adjust the feather as well and then you can hit on the delete a couple of times to get it well done now after you're done with this one the next thing you want to do is you can either do it on this same project or you can do it on a different one so let's do it on this same one so let's go to the layer adjustment over here pick a gradient and i'll go to the gradient and inside the gradient i created this particular gradient it is basically pink and white so i'll click ok and then i'm going to change this one to radial reverse and then i'm going to click ok i'll then drag this underneath of the actual image now we have this as a separate image and we have our background now let's focus on the main background you're going to press ctrl t and transform it out a little bit like this and then you can push the image a little bit above like that and this is the time you're going to apply the paint effect so we're going to our resource over here now i got three of the paint effects for you depending on the image that you are going to use so i'm going to pick this one this worked well for me so i'll drag that and drop it inside of photoshop i'll leave it right on top of it so you, you can see that the effect has already started okay so you can take your time to transform this out a little bit like that and take your time to resize it basically you have to resize it to the point that you want so we want all the reds here very nice like that after that what you're going to do is right click rasterize the layer here and then this becomes a normal layer what you're going to do next is you're going to hold control and then this square will come hit on the layer thumbnail over here it will create a selection for you now head over to your main image that is the layer zero here and then you are going to hit on delete after that you press ctrl d to deselect and then you go back to your dripping effect or the dripping paint and then you are going to turn that off and voila this is your paint effect now you can take time to adjust this image by opening it up to be a little bit bigger or you can even add adjustment to it if you so want to now let's take a look at the second image that we've got so by is the same person jackie and we're going to drag and drop her inside of this now this time around we are going to use this magic one selection tool and i'm going to make one left click and delete and i'm going to refine my edge like that so basically something like this and i'm going to delete a couple of times as well to get the edges very refined so this time around you can see that there are some of the backgrounds still over here so we are going to try to just use the same background 
the same color for the background only that the image this time around is going to stand out so let's add a solid color over here and let's drag it underneath of the image now double click on the solid color and then pick the same image so something like that the same image that is was used for the background and then you can click on ok over here now we go back to our layer and then we can apply the same process that we did with the previous image so you transform her over there like that so you can send it over here like that and then you can go into your resource and bring in your dripping effect so bring in your dripping effect over here and then you take your time to adjust it to the point or the place the exact place that you want so i want it somewhere around here and then once i get it to the point that i want i can double click on it like that so what i do is i right click and rasterize the layer hold control and then select this particular layer that is the dripping layer now come back to my main layer layer zero and then i'm going to hit on delete now i'll press ctrl d turn off the eye over here and this is my dripping effect now you see that there are a couple of things over here i can choose my eraser and then i can erase them if i don't want that now another thing that you can do is that after you do this you can actually go for your ellipse tool over here and create a very nice ellipse at the back so something like that let's make sure that it is in the middle and double click on it and change the color back to white you can use this for your dps and instagram pictures and all those things i better still if you don't want this ellipse here i'll add a splatter in the resources so you can download a splatter you go for your brush tool and this is the splatter that we are going to use you can choose any color but let's choose red over here and let's make some bit of splatter over here like that and if you don't want this color red you can just press on ctrl u to activate the hue and saturation and then you can quickly change your colors anytime you want or if you want to save yourself time you can just go for a color and then use the splatter so you can go for this splatter over here or you can use this ellipse at the background and you can use this for your dps instagram pictures and so on and so forth so basically we just looked at two different ways to do this dripping effect in photoshop i hope this video was helpful and if it was please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to share this video for others to see and don't forget to subscribe as well i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye